Hi everyone. So first of all, a disclaimer that information presented in this video is only for information and education purpose and do not use for illegal and malicious activity. So today we are going to discuss one very interesting uh, tool that is the harvester tool and the harvester tool is used to find out information about like emails, subdomains, host IPs and this is actually used in the first phase of pen testing that is the first phase but after pre-engagement phase we have reconnaissance phase so in passive reconnaissance phase we use this uh, tool and this tool will give us information about the emails of the persons working in some organizations the subdomains of some domains ip addresses so this all information and how to use it for this this is very simple that this is the tool we give the name of the tool and then this is uh, option here minus t so minus D, uh, with minus D, we actually we give the URL out of our target, the domain target. So that can be, it can be any URL here. And uh, it means we should have permission of that URL. That can be any.com, something.com, myname.com, anything. And here with minus L, we are going to limit the search results to 500. So this is the by default 500, but we can make it 200, 100, whatever we want. And then minus B is a source which we want to use to search information about our target. So this is our target. And this source can be Google. And this can, source can be Bing. And then many sources which I'll show you in that uh, when, we, uh, when we'll see this the harvester. So these are many sources here. Like we also have LinkedIn. Maybe we also have Twitter. These all sources can be used for the information about our target. So D is domain that specifies the domain name as I explained. This L is the uh, limit the number of search results. The default is 500 and data source can be Baidu, Bing or uh, Google. And in addition to that, if you want to save the results as a file, then at the end we can also give this minus F and give the file name. Then this will be saved as, as HTML or XML file. And then these are the uh, sources. I mean, the sources will be used by the harvester tool to find further information. And yes, let's move to the harvester, harvester tool in Kali Linux machine. And remember, in Kali Linux machine, this tool is already installed. This pre-installed there. Okay, now to demonstrate the use of uh, this interesting tool, that is the harvester. I'm going to open this terminal and yes, I am using my Kali Linux machine and in this Kali Linux machine, we already have this tool installed, but in some other operating system, maybe we need to install this tool and there are different ways to install it. Maybe we can cover these installation topics in different operating systems in some other videos, but at the moment, just let's learn about this the harvester. So to see if this the harvester tool is already installed in my lin in my Kali Linux, so I just I'm writing the harvester and press enter, and you can see this shows the harvester and this is the version number which is installed, and then this is how we can use it. And if you want to get further help about the harvester tool, then we just type the harvester and minus h. This will give us all the help available associated with this tool. So you can see the harvester tool is used to gather open source information on a company or domain and then these are some optional arguments so at minus h we already used and then minus d is for domain as we discussed before and you can see these all arguments yourself and some of them i discussed in our powerpoint slides let's use these tools and yes as a source you can see this the the harvester tool can use baidu bing and of course google and these all these all sources will be used to find out information about the url about our target url and there it can find emails ip subdomains these all things so let's use it so the harvester and sorry the harvester yeah, the harvester tool and then we have to give the domain we are looking for and then our target and remember you're not allowed to use urls without permission so this depends of course region to region where we are living but to be on safe side do not use any live url for which you don't have any permission so for learning we can use some specific url which i have 
they have made this for learning and that is uh, hack this site so I'm using that they have allowed this and then this is uh, uh, .org hack this site .org and then I'm going to limit my search results to 200 and then as a source I'm going to use uh, first I'm using Google let's say Google as source I press enter and uh, the harvester tool is uh, searching for this target using different sources so Google is blocking your IP and the work around returning searching so this result is because maybe maybe the place from where I'm recording it maybe they that IP is being blocked but Google did not give us result let's try with some other source let's we can use Bing let's see what will be the result if we use Bing as a source so now the harvester is searching on Bing about this and this this target URL that is the hack this site and using Bing as a source it's found no IP but it found only one email so that email is there so you've got the result but there is also one option that we can ask the harvester to use all of these resources so in that case minus B and all now the harvester tool will use all the sources which it has and this me for some of them we need to set APIs which we have not uh, set but let's see whatever whatever resources it can search so searching this source searching this source and then it will also search some other source it may take some time because it will be searching um, all the sources it has access to so let's wait but the thing is that we have given some URL as a target and we are trying to find out information about emails IP addresses about subdomains uh, uh, associated with that target URL and target URL we are using is hack this site and it will take some time and these these errors may be due to different reasons but let's see whatever is the possibility we will see at the end of this and if you want to see further why this is going to occur maybe google it but at the moment just I wanted to show you that how we can actually use this tool so you can searching by tools, searching this other um, source well Google is still blocking your IP so maybe the IP which I'm using this has been this is being blocked and again I, I want to mention that you are not allowed to use these tools against any URL because I, and again this rules depends on the region where you live so from region to region but ethically you should not be collecting any information from, about any URL without their due permission so it's still working on that searching LinkedIn so LinkedIn also is used as a source to find out information about our target URL and searching URL scan this is taking some time bear with me so this will be this will take some time and we will have some results at the end let's see what we have so here you can see the same email so there's only one email which was found on that hack this site dot uh, org and then you can see these are some of the IPs found and then on LinkedIn LinkedIn no links found on LinkedIn and then let's see here we have some other uh, URLs there interesting URLs found there and then you can find further information the, from which source this the harvester tool found what so you can see this all information at least see us. yeah so these are the IPs there and uh, and then the, this is the email so there may be in some of the URLs you can find hundreds of emails you can find all the their subdomains you can find the IPs there you can find banners there but I have used a URL which is used for learning and if you are allowed for example in some environment that they give you permission that uh, you can work there as a pen tester then yet maybe you can find for more information there right so this is how we can use the harvester tool to find this emails and IPs and other information and thank you, thank you very much for your time and hope to see you in some other video.